As we uh, get deeper into the pandemic, many local health providers are doing away with patient wait lists as the demand for vaccines drops. Tonight, CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki tells us how Duke is shifting their message for those looking to get vaccinated at now and going forward. The doors here at Wheels Fun Park are actually closed at 6 o'clock, but that's after they vaccinated hundreds of people. And this is part of the shifting dynamic from Duke, who have decided to do things a bit differently. You ready? Okay, you ready on down the ramp. For Michelle right. Johnson, it was a big day that began at a skating rink. Well, I'm coming in to get my second um, COVID shot. She admits it was a bit of a bumpy road that led her to getting vaccinated. I was apprehensive in the beginning, but I think it's the best thing. However, Johnson says Duke made it easy for her to walk through the door at their walk-in clinic. It was hard to get an appointment, but um, now that we have the walk-in clinics, I feel safe safer. Well, we're really excited to be in this new space because we have the capacity for about a thousand a day. While the demand for vaccines has dropped in other locations, nurse practitioner Natalie Kroll says Duke is doing its part to try and get to herd immunity. It's a good thing that we're not seeing those long wait lists anymore. Uh, it just means we need to shift our technique a little and uh, take a new take a new stance to make sure we're able to reach everyone in the community. That means meeting people where they live with walk up clinics where shots aren't required. Nobody has to get the shot if they come here and they change their mind when they hear the education. That's OK, too. The people don't. Um, we're going to be wearing the mask longer. It's going to be longer before we're able to do other activities in the community. Nothing wrong with having questions. We just want to make sure that we can answer them and uh, let people know what we know about what we're doing. Now, Duke will be shifting back to appointment only here at the Wheels Fun Center for the rest of the week, but they plan on looking what went right and what they can improve upon before offering their next walk-in clinic. Reporting in Durham, Holding Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.